welcome to all my dear student in this online lecture this is your computer lecture for standard 1 2 3 and 4 and today's our topic is notepad in the previous lecture we also study this topic notepad in this lecture we continue this topic so you can understood clearly how to open the notepad what is the notepad window and how it works so i am your computer teacher and my name is shweta yadav so see in this lecture what we study and before starting our lecture i hope you all are fine at your home take care of yourself wash your hand continuously with the alcohol based hand rub cover your mouth and nose with the mask and avoid the close contacts who has cold or flu like symptoms See in the previous lecture we study that how to start notepad what is notepad window and how to write number and letter so see this is the first window you can see this picture yes so this is our desktop picture of my laptop this is our desktop window the first starting window that we see on the monitor screen we call them desktop window see this windows this is a first screen of my laptop window so i call them desktop window and i show this picture so you can understand that what is a desktop window see this is the first screen of laptop or desktop or monitor or pc we call them desktop window yes we call them desktop window see now how to start notepad what how to start notepad so first of all the desktop window we have to start our notepad uh, computer sorry then what we have to do in the desktop window you can see this the background this is a desktop window of my laptop if you are having a computer then you have another window of your computer desktop window so in this window you have to search that type her to search so where it is it is at bottom of your desktop window you can see the my cursor moving on the bottom of your desktop window yes see this here is written the type here to search you can see here type here to search we have to just click there what we have to just click there on the search tab we call them what search tab so it is our search tab whatever you want to find you have to just search here so we have to just click here to search any program any file in your computer understanding student the desktop window and the search tab now in the search tab what we have to do we have to find our notepad program so what we write here notepad spelling so what is a notepad spelling n o t e p a d notepad so it is a notepad spelling we have to write here at the type search and just enter key so see here yeah, i am writing here notepad you can see this n o t e p a d not pad so it is our notepad spelling written here so see here the notepad icons display here this is our notepad program and this a notebook is a icon of a notepad window so here the notepad window will appear if we are clicking here you can see the my uh, cursor moving here this is a notepad program and we we have to click here so i am clicking here then see this notepad window will be appear on your desktop screen you can see here the desktop and the notepad window this white color plain page it is a same as our textbook page or notebook page and we call them notepad because we have to write anything so we use is this notepad program what 
if we want to type anything write letters numbers or we also drawing the picture also but not in a notepad for drawing we use another program in the higher standard we study that but we, uh, right now we use is a notepad for a writing for a typing yes so notepad is for write a letters numbers words paragraph or letters paragraph yes essay whatever you have to write in this you write using the keyboard which device using the keyboard you have to press the keyboard keys and the numbers or letter will be display on this notepad window yes okay now see this is our computer desktop window you can see this window this is our desktop window what the first screen that we see it is our desktop window yes it is our desktop and window now you can see this a uh, on screen keyboard i am just display this keyboard so you can see this the keyboard keys and which key we have to press from the keyboard yes students so this is for example your keyboard that you have and right now i am using this keyboard for typing so first of all the first step what we have to do we have to find the search window from the desktop screen so where is the search window search tab the bottom of the desktop window where the bottom of the desktop window so where is the bottom of the desktop yes this line you can see this is called the task bar what we call them task bar we call them task bar and task bar have a number of program list that open on this computer right now i am opening some one ppt here and one this keyboard here so it will display here another the display the charging volume keyboard type yes this is a date and time yes so this is a task bar from the task bar we have to find the type here to search you can see this type here to search is written here so what we have to do what we have to do we have to just click here so i am clicking here then what i have to do from the keyboard i want to write notepad spelling so n o you can see i am just pressing the n and o then here the notepad spelling is appear and the icon will be appear so this is our notepad program what notepad program you can see here you can see here the notepad program notepad icon so what we have to do here we have to just click here so i am clicking here then which window will appear this window which window it is notepad window which window notepad window by clicking on the notepad icon the notepad window will be appear the white color page it is our notepad window from this desktop we have this notepad window and what is the use of notepad program for typing letters numbers paragraph essay whatever you have to write you just write in a notepad window so see the first the buttons on the notepad window so you can understand then which button is used to close which button is used to open which button is used to window smaller bigger which button is used to minimize maximize yes first of all see the main button that which is we use this is you can see this it is called the maximize button which button maximize button by clicking on this maximize button what we do 
we do the window bigger window bigger now see i am clicking here then the window come bigger you can see again i am cl clicking there you can see again i am clicking there then we uh, what do window become smaller window become smaller again i am pressing this button then window become bigger so you can understand the square button program for minimizing or maximizing the notepad window now you can see this cross button it is a close for close the notepad program we use this cross red color button you can see this red color button it is used to close the notepad window and now see this minimize button what is the use of this key just see here right now i am clicking here then notepad window will disappear from the screen you can see the notepad window will dis disappear then where it is it is at the bottom of the task bar you can see the task bar is here and here is the notepad icon you can see this this is a notepad icon by moving cursor on this this notepad window will dis display here so what we have to do we we here just click then the again this notepad window will be open yes the notepad window will be open so again i am pressing this then window will be disappear and again i am moving my cursor here and just click then again the notepad window will be appear so you can understand this three button minimize and this restore down and then close button now come here you can see here written untitled notepad what it is the name of the notepad file what the name of the notepad file by default the name is untitled because we are not giving any name right now in this notepad file so it is untitled notepad window now see this file tab you can see here the f i l e file you can click here then the another menu will display here new window you can see the new new window open save save as print and exit this all we can see in the next lecture but right now we are just showing here so you can understanding then the file window is used to open save print exit and the new file in the edit we have another options format in we have a word wrap we have a font so in the font what we have to do select here any font that you want to write for example just i am using the elephanta and the regular and the size i choose 36 number and what we have to do okay then number format is here in the view tab or help tab is the another window for this notepad program bus but we mostly use this format window for the font selection and the file window for open save print and exit so let's start first of all what i am doing i am doing save file what i am doing i am save saving my file in the computer so for that save button what i am doing just click on the file then save and here you can see here the blue line txt return click here and then from this not uh, keyboard sorry from this keyboard press the backspace key what press the backspace key first of all click here then backspace you can see the erasing the text see here the text will be erased using this backspace key using this 
backspace key so now return whatever you have to write here file name for example i am giving here demo d e m o demo 1 i am giving here name name sorry demo 1 and then here save so you can see here the demo 1 name dot txt is come here so it it shows we are saving the file it will be save on our computer the demo 1 name is come here then it means we are completing a saving task yes so now our file is save here what now our file is save here so what we have to do right now now we are starting writing yes so let's start our writing for that we use our keyboard and our both hand not only one hand students we have to use our both hand for typing what both hand for typing you can see here this line this line you can see here it is blinking here appear disappear appear disappear you can see it is a blinking line what a blinking line you can see here the blinking line it is called a cursor what it is called a cursor you, the cursor shows the current position on our notepad screen here is the starting position the top left corner whenever we are starting writing then this cursor is moving on the right side where moving on the right side so first in the uh, previous lecture what we write the numbers right so again in this lecture we are writing numbers so you can understand clearly so for that we are using this keyboard so write first of all one number so find where is the one number here the left keyboard the first row is all the number keys 1 2 0 you can see here the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 this number is here for writing the numbers yes so first click here one then you can see here the one is written here and the cursor moving after the one then which number two you can see here the two number is also written then which number three so you can see here the three number also written then which number four five six seven so here the 4 5 6 and 7 number written 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and after 7 this cursor will blink here so next number which where display here and which number eight number so where is the eight number key from the keyboard find the eight number here is the eight number so we are pressing the eight nine and now 10 number so here is the not 10 number here is only zero number so for 10 number which number we have 1 0 10 10 so here we also find 1 and 0 so here the 1 and 0 then the 10 number is will written here so simple it is so simple right we are written here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 10 numbers here yes students we are written here 10 numbers okay now see i want to go to the next line here i want to come in the next line so which key we will use to go to the next line in the previous lecture i will say that which key students which key is used to go to the next line which one enter key so where is the enter key from this keyboard where is 
here e n t e r you can see here the spelling also written and e n t e r enter so what we have to do we have to just press the enter key and see the cursor move on the next line you can see here the cursor come in the next line again see i am just clicking here then cursor come here so again i am pressing the enter key now see the cursor yes it comes to the next line yes it comes to the next line yes now see in the first line we just pressing 1 2 3 and 10 numbers but right now in the next line what we have to do use our space bar key what use our space bar key and what is the use of the space bar key in the previous lecture i told them write in this notebook and also i am written in the notepad window also so space bar keys used to put a space between numbers and letters what is the use of space bar key to put a space between letters and numbers so see where is the space bar key where is find find where is the space bar key the longest key on the keyboard which one is the longest key this one you can see this is a longest key from the keyboard and it is our space bar key now see first i am write a 1 you can see here the one number is written now i am pressing this space bar pressing then here you can see here the one space here this is a space you can see this is a space now press a two number now see the difference here in the first line there is a no gap between 1 and 2 but in the next line we have a gap 1 and 2 and here is a one space so by pressing this space we put a space now see in the after 2 we also have a space now three number then space then four then space then five then space then six you can see all number between 3 4 4 5 5 5 6 we have a one space yes you can see the difference between one line and the second line now after six again space then seven then space then 8 then space then 9 and then space and last number 1 0 10 now see the difference between the first line and the second line see the difference this is our first line without spacing and this is our second line with spacing yes so you can understand the use of this key now in the next line see what i am doing pressing the enter key and the arrow will be in the next line we are pressing the alphabetic key now a b c d letter a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z the all alphabetic numbers written here by pressing these numbers find the a letter b letter c letter d letter e letter f letter yes now again i want to just write these numbers oh sorry letters using the space bar key same as here putting a space between numbers and now putting the space between 
letters. So enter key again. Then the cursor come here. So again a letter, then space, then b, then space, then c, then space, then d, then space, then e. You can see the the difference here. A B between space, B C between space, D C D between space. Using the space bar, we putting the space. Yes. Then E after space, F space, G space, H space, I space, J space. K space L space M space N space O space P space Q space R space S space T space U space V space W space X space Y space Z now see the difference see the difference of first uh, third number line without spacing and the second last line four number with the spacing alphabetic numbers yes so which one is good which one is good, better, last one, na? because it looks very nice with the space between the letters, yes. So we use this enter key to go to the next line and use this a space bar key for put a space between numbers and letters. We will see here, right? We will see here. So now see in the next line. See, I am pressing the enter key and arrow moving down. Now, in the next line, we you write words. What words? We write numbers, we write letters. Now, it's done to write words. What words? So, first word, which we have to write. For example, I am write here our school name. What our school name and what is our school name students what is our school name Madhi English school yes so we write here spelling of Madhi so what is the spelling of Madhi students what is the spelling of Madhi M A H D I Madhi. You can see here the Madhi is written M A H D I. So we are written here one word. What we are written here one word Madhi. Then what? Then the one word is completed. So come to the next line. Next line enter key. Now second word English which word I want to write English so what is the spelling of English E N G L I S H English is written the one word is completed yes Madhi and the second word English is completed now press the enter key and come to the next line now which number school spelling which which sorry which word school the spelling of school is S C H double O L the school spelling is also written so you can see we are write here word what we have write here words now see come to the next line so we are pressing the enter key again and the cursor will come 
here now i want to write modi english school in a one line but put in put a space between word now what put a space between word now we are putting a space space between number here now we are putting a space between letter here but now we are putting a space between this word here so first spelling modi we will write so write a spelling from the keyboard a m a h d i modi will written now put a one space using the space bar you can see here the one space is come here now which the second word english so write the spelling of english e n g l i s h english will written so again put a space after completing the word now the last one which remain school word so write the spelling of school s c h double o l so you can see here the all words come in the one single line and put a between one one space after the word you can see the modi then space then english then space then school so the words come in the single line so it come a sentence one here modi english school okay now see come to the next line and write a one line for example i am writing here the use of enter key so write the spelling e n t e r you can see that i am from the keyboard i am pressing the numbers letter sorry e n d e r and the enter comes written here then what spelling because the one one word is written then put a space enter key is is now i s is 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 written here you can see here the is is written here now put a space enter is used used u s e d you can see here the used spelling is written then put a space enter is used t o 2 then space go g o go then space used to go to t o again t o 2 used to go to the t h e the you can see the the spelling is also written then after the press a space bar key put a space enter is used to go to the next line e n e x t next space l i n e line you can see and last full stop you can see here the full stop full stop so here the one full stop also print so see the full line sentence enter is used to go to the next line understanding student uh, using the words space bar key enter key full stop we are completing here one sentence yes so we are come to the sentences so today's our stop lecture is stop here in the next lecture we are continue to write sentences we are come to write sentences so bye everyone take care stay home stay safe